Hello, drone friends. This is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I've got three stories for you today, and I'm going to jump right in. Last week, we reported on Zipline's approval uh, to conduct drone deliveries beyond visual line of sight. Less than a week later, they've launched an on-demand medical drone delivery service uh, out of their hub in Kannapolis, North Carolina. From there, they will conduct deliveries over a 7,800 square mile area. They've partnered with a few organizations to conduct things like pharmaceutical products, medical supplies, and get this, prescription medications directly to consumers' homes. So very, very excited for Zipline, uh, for the drone delivery side of the, uh, the commercial drone industry. Uh, this is a very practical uh, and convenient uh, application of this technology. And uh, there's also a nice environmental component that uh, Zipline's highlighting in their uh, press release around a big reduction in delivery carbon emissions when you're comparing uh, drone deliveries to van and car and, and even electric ground vehicle deliveries. Next up, a new report from Drone Analyst finds that drone companies are getting into other robotics. 17% of companies with drone programs that were surveyed have already bought another kind of robot. 22% said they plan to do so. Uh, and of those companies that plan to do so, a huge chunk of them are in the energy and utility industry. Uh, this all makes sense. Drones are just one type of tool. Uh, large industrial companies want to be equipped with tools to meet all of their needs. For example, uh, drones can help do external inspections of power lines, uh, chimney stacks, internal inspections of large boilers or pressure vessels. Uh, but to inspect the interior of a narrow pipe, uh, maybe you'll want to use a ground-based crawler that can easily enter the pipe and collect visual data. Not everything has to fly. Boston Dynamics Spot Robot is also seeing large-scale adoption for inspections since it can autonomously enter an area and collect data. And inspection solution providers like our friends at MFE are equipping the spot with more and more types of sensors. Uh, MFE has created a gas detecting sensor that it attaches to the spot. Uh, there's also specialized acoustic sensors that can detect sound waves for inspection purposes. Pretty cool. Lastly, industrial drone company Skyper Sonic completed the world's first transcontinental drone inspection. The inspection took place in a utility plant in Turin, Italy, but the drone was piloted from Orlando, Florida, and they were able to make this possible using an internet connection from a normal cell phone. Drone pilot Drew Camden had no idea what the Italian plant looked like. He solely went off uh, the video feed from the drone, which only had a lag by less than a tenth of a second. Uh, that is insane. <laughs> As you can imagine, this kind of remote drone piloting can save both time and money. Uh, by lowering the pilot's time commitment, several inspections can occur while remaining in one place. Uh, Skypersonic is part of a drone holding company, Red Cat Holdings. We were introduced to this concept a few months ago at AUVSI Exponential in Orlando, Florida. And at their booth, uh, Red Cat was allowing people to fly a drone that was located in a warehouse across the Atlantic Ocean. So imagine to have these, uh, a lot of drones deployed all around the world in power plants or sewers or wherever you need to do cyclic inspections and just one control room where you can actually take control of any of those drones and fly the mission. Uh, so very cool to see where this technology is headed, folks. All right, that's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links in the description below to read more. Thank you so much for watching and uh, to all of you drone pilots out there wishing you blue skies and safe flying.